Hello and welcome back for another Fast Freight 5, sponsored by Saracis, the transportation management solutions company. Maintaining the best possible LTL carrier roster for your shipping needs requires vigilance and the tracking of specific measures across their performance. If you don't know how well your carrier performs, you can't determine if you are actually seeing a positive return on investment. That's why today we'll give you the top five LTL carrier scorecard metrics shippers should track. So let's give you five things real fast. Number one, on time performance. Having your freight delivered on time is critical to your success. A late delivery could alienate customers, and if you're paying for on-time delivery, your freight should arrive when it's supposed to. Your carrier scorecard should include a value to represent how often freight arrives on time, including both a numeric value and a percentage of all shipments through a given carrier. Number two, billing accuracy. Carriers are going to make mistakes, and with the sheer number of today's freight processes, it would be impractical to expect complete and thorough accuracy in billing. However, excess problems and inaccuracies in billing can cost your company thousands, and if you can isolate which carriers tend to exhibit the greatest number of inaccuracies, you can avoid these carriers unless absolutely necessary. Moreover, you can use this score to prioritize audits for these carriers. Number three, damage-free shipments. Although damage may occur during shipping, customers hold the business accountable for the arrival of damaged items. As a result, you need to know what carriers cause damage in both numeric and percentile scores, which will help you avoid the cost of returns and replacements. Furthermore, this metric can help the carrier isolate why the risk seems to be higher with freight shipped from your location. Number four, driver performance. The scrutiny of driver's performance is growing. Drivers that do not adhere to the regulations for hours of service operation or occupational staff safety and health administration requirements for personal protective equipment can undermine the credibility and financial stability of your organization. Moreover, your freight could end up in limbo if a driver is detained due to illegal driving. As a result, you need to know what carriers have the highest performing drivers to ensure your freight reaches its destination on time. And number five, carrier service levels or movement of freight. Every time your freight is physically moved from one trailer to another or any other movement, it increases the risk of lost or damaged freight. Know what types of service levels are commonly used for your freight and how it moves, especially in intermodal transportation. How do you score your LTL carriers? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Well, before you go, make sure you click over here to check out all of our TMS videos, click over here to subscribe, and click up here to go to saracis.com.